family and local activists are calling for transparency after a Jacksonville teen was killed in an officer-involved shooting. A vigil was held tonight for 17-year-old Kwame Jones, the teen whose family members say was shot and killed in Moncrief nearly two weeks ago. News for Jax has learned that two other teens were in the car. The police say led officers on a pursuit before hitting a pedestrian bridge. Records show they both face charges. News for Jax reporter Corley Field joining us live outside Jacksonville Police Headquarters with what kind of transparency family members want to see and Corley new details about the police shooting. Family and friends of Kwame Jones say that they want JSO to release more information and the body camera video from the police shooting. Now, JSO has not released the identities of the three teens, but we have obtained new documents that show more information about what police say happened. Family, friends, and supporters met in Moncrief Friday at the scene where investigators say 17-year-old Kwame Jones died in a police shooting nearly two weeks ago. Justice for KK! Justice for KK! William Cash Sr. says his grandson, known as KK, was as unique as his hairstyle. He was fun. He likes to play and he's come from a large family, so he's got family around him. He was just a good kid. Police reports show Jones was with two other teens, Joseph Carter and Bobby Whitty, when the shooting happened. According to Carter's arrest warrant, on January 5th, the teens were spotted by police in a white Honda Civic that was reported stolen. Records show Whitty was a driver. Police say Officer Nicholas Lawson noticed a car driving the wrong way on Moncrief Road. Investigators say the car refused to stop and eventually crashed into another car and the pedestrian bridge. Investigators say there was some sort of verbal exchange, but details are redacted from Carter's arrest warrant. The officer fired multiple shots at the teens. Jones' family says he was killed. Carter's arrest report says he was seriously injured. Carter's arrest warrant shows this gun was found in the back seat near where he was sitting. The gun was reported stolen, according to the warrant. Regardless of what happened, Jones's grandfather believes body camera video should be released and there should be more transparency. We need more information to close it. We need more information so the family can close and go on with our lives and in the members and members of KK. The police reports show that officers served Joseph Carter a warrant in the hospital. He is charged with possession of a firearm by a juvenile delinquent. Bobby Woody was served four days after that shooting, and he is charged with fleeing from an officer. Now, Kwame Jones' family say he will be laid to rest tomorrow. JSO says that this is an ongoing and active investigation. Reporting live from JSO, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.